Okay, number 76. Pollution has become a major problem largely because of D. A. Decrease in energy sources. B. Use of renewable resources. Or D. Abundance of uh, natural resources. C. Dependence on fossil fuel. So our answer here is letter C. Dependence of fossil fuel. It's because uh, most of our, of our industries today are dependent on using the fossil fuels, yung mga gasolina, and other um, fossil fuels. So, kaya uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng global warming and climate change is because of the continuing um, continuing uh, dependence or the use of fossil fuel as a means of um, getting energy for our um, let's say for example our vehicles for our industries so yung fossil fuel kasi pag sinusunog siya naglalabas siya ng mga no shoes and um, um, dangerous gases like um, carbon dioxide na kung saan makakapag-contribute ng malaki doon sa uh, greenhouse effect kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng global warming Number 77, the burning of coal could be made less polluting by using A. Recycling, B. Offshore drilling, C. Scrubber system, D. Motor vehicle device. So our answer here is not letter A, but it's letter C. Scrubber system. Ano ba yung scrubber system? So this is an example or a prototype of a scrubber system. Prototype of an equipment of a scrubber system. So, anong ginagawa ng scrubber system? Yung contaminated gas, let's say for example, uh, yung gas from uh, the burning of uh, fossil fuel, which is, let's say for example, a coal, papasok siya dito sa ating scrubber, and then, if we filter siya gamit itong pack bed, na, na mayroong um, scrubbing liquid sa itaas so yung water dito at itong pack bed na to ito yung magfi-filter sa gas na kung saan um, pupunta pa itaas okay? so yung lalabas lang dito na gas is yung clean na gas yung mga waste ng um, contaminated gas na yun is mapupunta pa ibaba. Okay? So, that is the scrubber system. Inilalagay ito, ginabutang ni siya sa mga factories, sa mga kanang makita ginato nga, uh, if you observe right now, ang mga barko karon is wala na yung mga, mga aso nga nagagawas. It's because um, nagagamit na sila og scrubber system number 78 which biome is considered to be the most stable is it A. Taiga B. Tundra C. Grassland and D. Tropical Rainforest our answer here is letter D. Tropical Rainforest and one of the proof that uh, the tropical rainforest is considered the most stable biome is its um, the diversity of organisms that are found in a tropical forest when we say diverse kaayo ang isa ka biome that means it the, that biome can um, sustain or um, makaprovide siya sa gikinahanglan sa mga organisms in that particular biome. So, again, one of the proof that a biome is stable is its organism's diversity. 79. Which pair of terms will most likely apply to the same organism? A. Producer, predator. B. Autotrope, parasite. C. Heterotrope, autotrope. D. Heterotrope, herbivore. Si producer ba is a predator? Naga naga kaun ba siya or naging consumer ba ang isang producer? No, kaya nga tinatawag siyang producer is because it can sustain itself 
by creating their own food. So, producer na nga, di siya pwedeng maging um, consumer. Though there are certain, um, there are certain plants that eat animals, but uh, those plants uh, eat those animals because, um, not because they can uh, use uh, that animal for food, but they need it for nutrients. Like say, for example, for um, nitrogen. Okay, they get their nitrogen in the in the animal that they have captured. Letter B, autotroph and parasite. A parasite is also a consumer. So it cannot be an autotroph because an autotroph is a producer. Okay. Letter C, heterotroph and autotroph. So heterotroph, ito yung kabaliktaran ng autotroph. Si autotroph nga is producer. Si heterotroph is consumer. So our answer here is letter D. Si heterotroph is consumer. Si herbivore, consumer siya ng plants. So they are both consumers. So our answer here is letter D. Uh, these pairs of term, this pair of terms, uh, most likely apply to the same organism. So when, number 80, the maximum rate at which a certain species reproduces is its blank. A, growth rate, B, limiting factors, B, biotic potential, D, carrying capacity. So yung growth rate is yung gaano kabilis lumaki ang isang organism or other um, things. The limiting factors, it's, uh, these are the factors that limits reproduction. Yeah. And the carrying capacity and biotic potential. Nandiyan lang yung answer natin. But our answer here is letter C, biotic potential. Ano yung biotic potential? The maximum rate at which a certain species reproduces. Kung ano lang talaga yung kayang ma-reproduce na offspring ng isang um, species, yun yung biotic potential. Okay, let's say for example, imong mama makakaya o anak o bainti ka anak. Then, ang imuhang mama, na siya biotic potential nga, 20. The carrying capacity is the environment's um, maximum carrying capacity. Ito yung kakayahan ng isang environment na makasupply siya or makaprovide siya ng mga uh, bagay na kinakailangan ng mga organisms that live in a certain in that certain environment. So that is the carrying capacity. Number 81. The dark reaction phase of photosynthesis consists of a series of chemical reactions which end up with the formation of a 3 carbon sugar code pabalik-balik na ito it's pigal or phosphoglyceraldehyde or glyceraldehyde phosphate 82 the end products of dark reaction phase of photosynthesis are ADP and blank so it's ADP and glucose which is a sugar so wala pong um, product ang photosynthesis na carbon, wala din pong product na nitrogen wala din pong product na um, carbon dioxide kasi yung carbon dioxide is a material in photosynthesis it's not a product of photosynthesis yung product talaga ng photosynthesis yung main product niya is the uh, sugar or the glucose and it has a byproduct which is the oxygen 83 the completion of mitosis at the completion of mitosis the remainder of the cells divides and a new cell wall is formed this process is called pag nag divide na yung ano pag nag divide na yung um, isang cell into two daughter cells and then nakakreate na siya ng uh, cell wall so probably yung cell na yun is under cytokinesis so cytokinesis is the 
um, division of the cytoplasm, while the mitosis is the division of the nuclear membrane or the nucleus. Okay. 84. The cell wall of a plant is made up of cellulose. Okay. The cell wall of a plant is made up of cellulose. And for the cell wall of the um, fungi, it's made up of chitin. And for the bacteria, it's made up of peptidoglycan. Okay. 85. In protozoans, digestion occurs in the blank. Letter A, stomach. Letter B, ribosome. Letter C, uh, food vacuole. Letter D, contactive vacuole. Now, yung protozoans are unicellular organisms. So, wala silang stomach. It's because it's a organ. When you say an organ, it consists of a um, um, group of tissues that uh, function together. And si ribosomes or si ribosome is this is where the translation of RNA to uh, protein happens. So it is not used for digestion. It's either the food vacuole or the contractile vacuole. So our answer here is the food vacuole. Kaya nga tinatawag siyang food vacuole kasi in that vacuole, dyan dinadigest yung uh, pagkain ng isang protozoan. Now, yung contractile vacuole naman, ito yung ginagamit uh, ng isang unicellular organism or other cells to pump excess water palabas ng cell membrane. Okay? Kasi pag hindi nila pinapump yung excess water palabas ng um, cell membrane, again, mag-swell mag yung cell and then it may burst or lyse. 86. How many ATP molecules are produced via oxidative phosphorylation when one molecule of glucose is degraded into carbon dioxide and water. So, uh, pag, pag um, total amount of ATP na gani ang isgutan na maproduce in one molecule of glucose sa, sa cellular respiration, it's either uh, 32, 34, or 36. And then there are other resources na naapod siya 38. So, isa lang yung um, nasa line of 30. So, that is our answer here. Okay, number 86, letter D, yung answer. 87. Which of the following is not produced in light-dependent reaction of photosynthesis? Alin daw dito ang hindi na produce in the light reaction photos light reaction light dependent reaction of photosynthesis is it d oxygen yes mayroong maproproduce na oxygen remember the photolysis of water into oxygen and hydrogen molecules and also um, we can also have um, atp or we can also produce uh, plants can also produce ATP during the light reaction phase of the photosynthesis. And also, the NADH. So, yung hindi pinuproduce ng light reaction phase ng photosynthesis is the sugar or si um, glucose. It's because it will be produced later in the Calvin cycle or in the dark reaction. So, si glucose or si sugar is maproproduce lang siya in the dark reaction or in the Calvin cycle. 88. Fat is under the classification of lipid, a macromolecule. What are the components of fats? Is it A, glucose and galactose? So B, glycerol and fatty acids? R chain? Hydrogen? And then... COOH, we also have in H3, or is it sugar, nitrogenous vase, or phosphate? 
So letter A. So remember that fat is a lipid. Okay, fat is a lipid. So si glucose at si galactose, they are sugar. Si sugar naman, and then si nitrogenous base and phosphate, uh, it com it, these are the components of a nucleic acid. So it's not a lipid. Si RJ naman, si hydrogen at itong si COOH at NH3, uh, these are the components of a protein. So, our answer here is letter B, glycerol and fatty acid. To be specific, um, one glycerol, one molecule of glycerol and three fatty acids, yung uh, composition ng fat. Again, fat is composed of one molecule of glycerol and three fatty acids. So, tinatawag din siyang triglycerides. Okay? It's because of the presence of three, pra, uh, three fatty acids, triglycerides. 89. During mitosis, a double-stranded chromosome is attached to a spindle fiber at the black A centriole, B cell plate, C centromere, D centrosome. So our answer here is the centromere. Ito yung region na kung saan uh, ina-attach ni spindle fiber ang kanyang sarili into the chromosome. Okay? And the other side ng uh, and the other pole ng uh, the other pole ng spindle fiber is sa uh, the other side naman ng uh, centromere. So during um anaphase uh, they will be um, pulled apart kaya nagiging um, nahahati itong chromosome so saan ina-attach ni spindle fiber ang kanyang sarili, sarili sa chromosome it's in the centromere okay what is the lifespan of an eyelash Ito, lumabas ito sa Gen Ed na let exam. And also, lumabas maybe, sabi nila, uh, yung mga nauna sa amin na nag-take ng exam, lumabas din itong question na to sa major. So, the lifespan of an eyelash is 3 to 5 months. Okay? 3 to 5 months. So, Kahit na walang 2 5 months dito, but uh, we have here a 3 months. So, ito yung pipiliin nating sagot. 91. Plants such as clover and beans that have nitrogen-fixing bacteria in their roots are which of the following families? So, saan daw na belong na family ang mga plants such as clover and beans? So, na belong sila into the family of leguminosae. Kaya nga natawag itong clover and beans na mga uh, legumes. Okay? 92. Bacteria that fix nitrogen for such plants as beans are in which of the following genera? So yung dito ang ang ang, ang ina-ask ng question dito is anong family na bilong yung plant? Dito naman Anong tawag doon sa bacteria na nasa mga leguminos or in the family of leguminosae na plants? So, ang tawag sa mga bacteria, ang tawag sa genera ng mga bacteria na yon, and the nitrogen-fixing bacteria are rhizobium. Okay, letter C, rhizobium. 93. The traps of carnivoro carnivorous plants contain A. Polysaccharide, B. Phospholipids, C. Digestive enzymes, and D. Herbicides. So, kaya tinatrap ng mga carnivorous plants yung mga, um, let's say for example, a mice or any other animals in their kiniang Sana, into their, like, example dito is yung pitcher kasi so yung pitcher inside niya is mayroon siyang digestive enzymes kasi um, 
kapag gulas lang digest yung enzymes, hindi nila madadigest yung uh, na, na trap nila or nahuli nila sa kanilang trap na animal. So, the traps of the carnivorous plants contain digestive enzymes. 94. A flower with stamens, carpels, sepals, and petals is said to be A. Tetraform B. Perfect C. Complete D. Monoecious So, present yung four na parts ng flower. So, our flower here is complete. Okay? Pag present yung stamens, carpels, sepals, and petals, ang tawag sa flower na yan is complete. Okay? So, there's, these are the other terminologies for a flower. We have the complete. So, if it is a complete flower, all four parts of the flower are present. The sepals, the petals, the stamens, and the carpels. But when we say incomplete, it lacks one or more of the four parts. Meron din tayong perfect flower. Yung perfect flower, meron siyang both stamens and carpels, which are the reproductive organs of the plants, or the, of the flower. I'm sorry. Meron din tayong imperfect flower, which contains only either a stamen or a carpel. Pero wala... Not both, no? So, isa lang. We also have inflorescence flower. It is a cluster of flower. And the composite flower, which appears to be a single flower, but consists of a group of tiny flowers. Yung abi na to nga, uh, sa layo, tanaw na to, mora na siyang isa na siya kabulak. Pero, yung mo siyang duulun, um, you can see that it is a um, single flower but consists of group of tiny flowers. Okay. Yan. Ito yung si stamen, yung female um, organ or sexual organ ng flower. And then si carpel naman, ito. Si carpel naman. Ito yung um, female organ ng uh, isang flower. So, pag si stamen lang at si carpel lang present, wala si petals, wala si sepals. So, ang tawag sa um, flower na ganyan is perfect flower. Okay? Pero pag present ang four parts na to, si sepal, si petal, si stamen, at saka si carpel, ang tawag dyan is a complete flower. Okay? So, memorize that one because it's very important. Number 95. A flower with both stamens and carpel is said to be, okay? Diniscuss na natin to. It's a perfect flower. Kasi meron siyang um, male organ ng plant ng flowering plant and also the female organ ng flowering plant. Number 96. Pollination occurs when a pollen grain matures and has three nuclei. Again, pollination occurs when a pollen grain blanks. A. Matures and has three nuclei. B. Lands on a stigma. C. Releases its sperm nuclei. D. Releases its sperm nuclei and they fertilize the egg and the polar nuclei. So, in plants, in flowering plants, pollination occurs if the pollen grain lands on the stigma. So, letter B ang answer natin dito. So, this is the stigma. It's uh, the opening of, it's the opening to the ovary or to the ovule of the um, female organ of the flower which is the carpel so yung pollen is from the uh, stamen or the reproduction reproductive um, organ of the the male reproductive organ of the flower 
So basically, if uh, we we pollinate the flower uh, using insects, so si insects probably uh, papatong dito sa anther and then makakadala siya ng pollen and then papatong na naman siya dito sa stigma and then, and then uh, matagak ang ang pollen in the stigma so it will ensure um, pollination and probably it will ensure fertilization of the flower okay and also we can pollinate uh, the flower through the air okay kapag humangin siya mayroong uh, mapapadpad dito na pollen grain sa stigma and then Ayan, bababa, papuntang ovary ng um, flower. So, ma, mapapollinate siya or mag, uh, mapapfertilize. So, our answer here is letter B, lands on a stigma. Pollination pa man. But if the question is asking about fertilization in the flowering plants, so ito na yan. Uh, releases its sperm nuclei and defertilize the egg and the polar nuclei. So, yung polar nuclei, uh, we will discuss this uh, if we um, encounter um, questions that will talk about this. Number 97. Fertilization of the egg takes place inside the... So, yung egg na tinutukoy dito is not yung egg cell ha? yung egg ng um, plants or flowering plants. So, fertilization of the egg takes place inside the embryo sac. Okay. Yung embryo sac dito. Yan, sa loob. Oh, hindi ko. Hindi na ko ma-drag po, boss. So, just the area in the ovary that is the embryo sac. The answer dito is embryo sac. 98. A dicot embryo is heart-shaped because it is developing A. Corcambium B. Heartwood C. Vascular cambium D. Tocotelidons Kaya nga tinatawag siyang dicot from di which is to meaning to and cut from the word cotyledon. So, meaning, it is developing two cotyledons. A dicot embryo is heart-shaped because it is developing two cotyledons. Number 99. Which of the following is a monocot seed? Is it A, kidney bean, C, peanut, D, P? So, the only uh, monocot seed here is the corn. Ito lang yung isa lang yung katelo dun niya. Si corn kernel. And also, you can also identify if that certain plant is a monocot or a dicot by just looking the venation of its leaf. Yung mga murag ugat ugat niya sa, um, sa yahang dahon. So, if it is parallel, pa straight lang siya, it's a monocot. But it, if it is branching, then it's a dicot. Number 100. The fruit develops from the cell walls of the... So, saan develop ang fruit? It's in the ovary. It's in the ovary of the flower. Diyan develop yung fruit. If ever a plant is a uh, fruit-bearing plant. 